Hey guys, how you doing? This is Tim here. And boy, we had a wonderful weekend at the MTC conference in Oak Brook, Illinois. God was moving powerfully. We saw healings. We saw deliverances. We saw people rededicating their lives to the Lord. I got a chance to speak to the youth group and just sharing the things that God has, has done in my life about the word and the spirit and identity, royalty, healing, prophecy. Um, we had people giving prophetic words for the first time, people getting baptized in the spirit and getting a prayer language for the first time. Uh, it was just amazing. We had multiple, multiple young people give their lives and or rededicate their lives to the Lord, and fires were lit, and it was just fantastic. Holy Spirit was moving in power, and I was just so honored to be a part of the great thing what God's doing through the Thai family. Um, I want to share just a, a quick testimony that happened last night. We were praying for people for several hours, my team and I, and um, almost every one of us had almost every person we prayed for, something happened. There was heat, there was tingling, there was a, a decrease in pain, whether people got completely healed or 50, 60 to 70 percent healed. We were seeing things happen and it was very encouraging that there's just been an explosion of healing. You got my testimony before about the deaf ear that opened, the girl who's hearing. Um, I prayed for a guy who his hand, he could not turn it, he could not open it at all. It was stuck straight. And after about 15, 20 minutes of prayer, he was able to get it almost ha uh, halfway open. Um, and it was just amazing, and God was working on him and moving mightily. But the testimony I really wanted to share, and it's something God's been speaking to me lately, was a woman came up to me and had, uh, had some problems with her neck. She couldn't move her neck. She had pain in her neck, and I prayed once, and there was nothing happened. I prayed again, and nothing has happened. Then I said, okay, something's wrong here, because I just prayed for multiple people and saw things happen every single time I prayed. I don't think anything's wrong with me. Maybe there's something else going on here. So I just asked the Holy Spirit to give me wisdom, and I just told her to relax, and, and I just started praying, and I, and I felt like she was under some shame and condemnation over some things that happened in her past, and I just said there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus, Romans 8, 1, and she fell onto her knees under the power of God. And uh, she came back up, and she said, when you said that, I just, I couldn't stand. I fell, and I said, well, what happened? And, you know, she started telling me um, some pretty uh, detailed things just to protect her honor. I don't want to say them, but some pretty some pretty tough things that happened to her and, and that um, and she had felt some shame. And she actually asked me, she said, well, what is condemnation? And I just explained to her that basically condemnation is when is when um, the enemy just keeps these lies upon you and makes you feel bad, but he gets you to think that it's God who's mad at you. And a lot of people live under condemnation from, from things they did in their past, and they can't accept that they're truly forgiven and that God's no longer angry with them and that they've been reconciled back to God and they now have peace with God and their sins and lawless deeds are forgiven um, and God's no longer mad at them. That's grace, guys. That's the new covenant. Okay, and most people don't know that they think that uh, when they do good, God's happy with them. They do bad, God's mad mad at them, um, and that's the law. That's that's the law, and that is not the the grace and ministry of Jesus Christ. And so I just explain these things to her that God's no longer mad at her, that she's no longer being judged, that she's forgiven, and that the enemy's been accusing her and putting these lies into her head. And as I explain these things to her, I'm just sharing these things with condemnation. I just told her close her eyes, and I prayed for. Her. And I said, I just released the burden of shame. And I kind of, as a spiritual act, I just lifted my hands kind of on her shoulders and I removed the heavy um, yoke, the heavy burden of the law. Remember, Jesus said, come to me, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Because the Jews he was talking about were under the heavy yoke and burden of the law of, of performing for God. And so I removed that as a symbol act and I removed it. And then I placed upon her the crown of royalty, a princess's, a queen's crown. And I put it on her head and then she shook. And I, and I, and I said, what's going on? And she said, when you put that on my head, everything left. And all her pain was gone. I didn't even pray for her to be healed. But what happened was, is I broke of condemnation. I released truth. And I spoke identity and royalty into her. And through a symbol symbolic prophetic act, it actually caused that infirm in, um, inferior spirit that was keeping her trapped under shame to go. Because now she was finally getting restored and seen by the Father of, as the one who is truly loved and truly accepted and is no longer an orphan. And so what I tell you guys, the healing ministry is, 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 
is so amazing because sometimes you don't even have to pray. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will give you the words and the keys to unlock things that will bring healing and bring deliverance. Because I know condemnation kills. And I know sickness can actually come from condemnation where you feel guilty about things you've done. And you just you soak in that sorrow. And, and then the enemy just keeps these lies and it actually turns into sickness in the body. Okay, and 1 John 3, 1 says, Beloved, I pray that you be in health and prosper in all things, even as your soul prospers. Your soul being your mind, will, and emotions prospering. Okay, and we know Proverbs says that um, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is the tree of life. So a lot of people have promises that may have not come to pass, and, and, and they stop giving thanksgiving. What happens is their heart gets sick, and when their heart gets sick, the enemy brings condemnation. That condemnation actually turns into sickness in the body. Okay, and so we have to continue to speak grace, identity, and royalty over people, especially those who've been caught under a legalistic, performance-based Christianity, because condemnation really does kill, and the letter does kill, but the Spirit, Jesus Christ, gives life. So I just want you to be here when you're healing. If you pray and something doesn't happen, don't, don't necessarily think, oh, well, God's not doing anything. God's always doing something. We just have to align ourselves with the Spirit and find exactly what the Holy Spirit's doing, and you'll see deliverance. You'll see healing. So I just wanted to bless you guys with that testimony. I pray some of you would take that and run. Stay tuned for all the amazing things God is doing. We just have so many testimonies. The Holy Spirit's being poured out. God has spoken to me that the year of 2012 was the year of breakthrough, and the year of 2013 is going to be the year of increase. So we're expecting dramatic increase in our life, in our ministry, in our family, um, in everything concerning the kingdom. And boy, it's exciting. Take care. Thanks so much for checking these videos out. I hope they encourage you. We'll see you again.